So I'm Carlos Castaneda. I'm an associate professor of biology and chemistry at Syracuse University in central New York in the U.S. Um, so one of the challenges that we had, that I had, um, I think with our research in general, uh, was actually working with a particular protein and learning how to purify it. Um, it was actually, I think, in my second year as an assistant professor and working with my postdoc, uh, Tui Dao. Uh, it was really interesting. We were trying to figure out how do we express this protein? How do we handle this? And it was through just a lot of trial and error and a lot of observations that we realized that what we were seeing was actually a new phenomenon, at least for us at the time. Um, and so I think we, we realized how important it was to read literature. Um, and it was around that time that we discovered that the protein that we were studying was space separating. And so it was through reading those papers that gave us the idea um, that this was happening. Um, before that, we didn't really know. And so we almost neglected the project, um, but it has since changed our research trajectory entirely um, because we now want to understand, like, why does this protein do this? Yeah, that's a great question about the Research Institute and what makes it super strong. So I think the best quality is um, just the sheer collaboration. Having like the right people, the right faculty, the right students, and then um, the environment of administrators that actually understand what you do. So I think that the key thing is the communication um, amongst researchers, the students, the postdocs, the administrators to try to keep the program going. Um, so I think from my experience, it's really just getting everybody to understand how important it is to communicate and to work together on a collective mission. So developing that mission, hiring the right people, bringing the people together into the right place so that they can all work together. I think that's all. Yeah, so definitely, like, I think AI has definitely changed how we work um, extensively because now we use AlphaFold, for example, like, in our work, it's, it's a daily thing, right? So I think at this point, the way that we look at how structures, how proteins work, and how they interact with other partners has to be through techniques like AlphaFold. So I think like AI is a really integral part of what we do. I think it's really important to be aware of all the technologies that are out there and not discount anything. And I think the real challenge is learning like what is the caveat of that new technique or that new technology so that you know how to use it properly and not, you know, go down the wrong road. Yeah, what's going to be the, the thing that kind of drives everything forward? Yeah, so like, you know, since I started doing science, I think for me, it's always been the integration of so many different disciplines. So biology, chemistry, physics, math, computer science, engineering, all the things. So I think, like, if there's anything that I recognize, I think it's the integration of all those technologies, all those different fields, and kind of having people work together. Um, so I think in, in, in short, it's, it's sort of being aware of all these different techniques, um, trying to integrate all of these different methods. So, like, I mean, in structural biology alone, like, for instance, you have cryo-EM. This was not a thing, like, 15, 20 years ago. But by now it is, right? So I think having to combine all those things and being fully aware of what's happening is really important. So I, I think for me, the thing that I look back on it would be asking questions. I think not being afraid to try new things would be another important aspect. You just don't know. Um, I think taking so many notes and being really meticulous, I think, is really important. The story about our protein I would not have happened if we were not writing detailed notes. Um, so I think like going back to those basics is really important. And if you keep that in mind, you know, when projects work, they won't, and, and you know, or when projects don't work, you can always go back to the, your notes and kind of reset and realize, okay, what did I do differently this time? Or what did I learn from this experiment working or not working? And that's how you can like push your projects forward. So I find like when something doesn't work, it actually motivates me because I, I need to find out why, 
right? And I think that's, like, if you have that inherent curiosity. I think from what I've seen just at this meeting, like, and talking to the students and everybody that's here, I, I think there's a lot going on. And I'm really happy to see that everyone is trying to learn and try to work together on new challenge and projects. I think that's one promising thing going forward. Like, the, this whole point of this meeting, I think, was to bring people together, kind of have us connect to this institute more, um, and then, you know, so we can have more of a back and forth.